But it is now time for member statements, and I recognize the member from Ajax. Thank you, Speaker. Today I stand before you representing the amazing people of Ajax. I rise to recognize the Durham Youth Services located in Ajax and led by Shannon Jackson and her dedicated team. They extend a helping hand to youth in Ajax and the Durham region, offering them a lifeline during a difficult time. On the Premier's Ford Leadership Org, government recognizes the immeasurable value that organizations like Durham Youth Services offer to residents facing challenges in Ontario. This year, Durham Youth Services was the recipient of over $180,000 from the Ontario Trillium Foundation Resilient Communities Fund. I've met with Shannon and her team and have seen the amazing work that they do. DYS was also this year's charity of choice for the Home Depot Canada Foundation. The foundation selects one project in Canada for a community build each year. Over 70 Home Depot associates, partners and vendors from across, Aja across Canada came to Ajax to work on this project. In just two days, two homes were transformed with new siding, landscaping, fencing, updated doors, kitchen bathrooms, storage solutions and much more, all at no cost to the charity. Thank you to Shannon and her team and the Home Depot Foundation for the great work they do every day to support our youth in Ajax and the Durham region. We appreciate your passion and your dedication. Further member statements, I recognize the member for Hamilton Mountain. Uh, thank you. Good morning, Speaker. Today, I'm excited to share an invite to my annual pumpkin party happening this Saturday, October 28th. The fun will be at TB McQuestion Park from noon until 2.30. Many will know this amazing park is located at 1199 Upper Wentworth Street on Hamilton Mountain, which has tons of free parking, is fully accessible, and is on many HSR bus routes. This annual event is family-friendly, free of charge, and sure to get you in the Halloween spirit. So wear your costumes and come join in the fun. We have free pumpkins to carve and all of the pumpkin carving tools you will need to make your perfect jack-o'-lantern. And the best part is you can leave all the messy parts behind. A big thank you to the volunteers who will be making sure you have hot chocolate, popcorn, treats, and a goodie bag. While you enjoy the afternoon with your family and friends, you can also head over to our photo booth and snap a picture of a day that is filled to be remembered. New this year is the Hamilton Fire Department stopping by to say hello and to bring some very important information about fire safety and prevention. So come out this Saturday, bring your costume, your carving schools, skills and creativity. Let's spend the afternoon together as a community at TB McQuestion Park and have a spectacular time. As always, full details are available through my office and online. Give us a call, drop us an email if you have any questions. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone there and have a very happy Halloween. Member statements. I recognize the member for Frontenac, Lanark Frontenac Kingston. Thank you, Speaker. And the, the member from Hamilton Mountain mentioned volunteers, so a great segue. Uh, communities throughout Ontario are built on the backs of volunteers. We depend on them. These dedicated and passionate individuals donate their time, skills, and knowledge in the communities they call home and beyond. They are instrumental in supporting families, patients, students, seniors, and children. Without volunteers, many organizations, events, and services would not exist. Speaker, on Thursday, September 21st, and Tuesday, October 17th, the Ministry of Citizenship and Multiculturalism held special Ontario Volunteer Service Award ceremonies in Brockville and Kingston, respectively. Many residents from my riding of Lanark Frontenac Kingston were recognized for their years of service. People like Vivian Buchanan, who has dedicated over 29 years to Perth Seniors Fellowship and 10 years with the Table Good Food Bank. Catherine Mellon, who has given 35 years of her time and talents to the United Way Kingston Frontenac Lennoxon Attica. And Edward Wilson, for his 20 years of dedication to the North Lanark Historical Society. Mr. Speaker, there are many benefits to volunteering. It offers vital help to people in need, worthwhile causes, and the community. It also connects you, the volunteer, to new friends, reduces stress, and provides a sense of purpose. 
to all of the Ontario Volunteer Service Award recipients and resounding thank you from everyone who have assisted over the years. And if you haven't done so already, consider volunteering. It's a great experience. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for St. Catharines. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, it's time. It's time for symbolic gestures, the ones that come cheap to be done. We stand at a crossroad faced with an epidemic of intimate partner violence. Two weeks ago in Niagara, it took an innocent life, and just yesterday, Sault Ste. Marie, five more. We have lost mothers, children, friends, community members, and it's time to say no more. Speaker, I lost a friend to femicide. I rarely speak about it in this house. However, I know almost every woman in this chamber carries a similar story, a shared grief. Last year, alongside my colleagues, strong and fierce advocates from London West, Toronto Centre, Toronto St. Paul, all united, urging this government to respond to the Renfrew County inquest recommendations. And when the response came, it was in half measures refusing to declare intimate partner violence a crisis, refusing annualized funding to the sector. Now it's time for a real commitment to accept all of the Renfrew County recommendations, not just the easy ones, not just the cheap ones, but all of them. My advocacy and the, the advocacy of my colleagues is built on the shoulders of giants, the women in the sector doing the work. It is time we support them fully and unconditionally. It is time. It really is time. Thank you. Member Statements. The Member for Cambridge. Thank you, Speaker. The people of my riding of Cambridge are blessed to be served by countless nonprofit organizations that provide life-changing support on a daily basis. Among them is uh, YWCA of Cambridge, which uh, this month is celebrating its 75th year of serving women and girls in the Yay. Cambridge riding. The YWCA is a trusted community leader that lends a voice to the needs of women and girls through innovation and responsive programs, services, and advocacy. Like all nonprofit groups, the YWCA relies on the generosity of donors. Recently, on a cold, rainy Saturday morning, many supporters of the YWCA gathered outside City Hall to participate in an annual event called Walk a Mile in My Shoes. The walk raised just shy of $10,000, and donations can still be made by contacting the Y. Walk a Mile in the Shoes supports YWCA's free community-based violence protection programming for youth across Waterloo Region. It's important to note that this event is much more than a walk through the streets of downtown Galt. Rather, it's a strong show of unity against gender-based violence. Speaker, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations and gratitude to the YWCA staff volunteers as they mark 75 years of providing support and services to our community. And on that note, I would just like to add to the women in this chamber how you work it, walk around in high heels all the time. I find amazing because I can't do it. Thank you very much, member statements. The member for London North Centre. Thank you, Speaker. I was honoured to tour the new location of the London Children's Museum with MPPs for London West and London Fanshawe. Founded by Carol Johnston in 1975, it is the oldest children's museum in Canada and is a one-of-a-kind destination for all of Ontario and the United States. Children have opportunities to watch, interact, move, problem-solve, collaborate, and think critically, which instill in children lifelong skills, ones which are prized by employers today and well into the future. They offer fantastic curricular supports for school tours and also help children who come from low-income households. The Children's Museum inspires lifelong learners. Everyone in London has fond memories of the Children's Museum and remembers what they learned in that space. It has launched careers because of its engaging nature. Speaker, it was actually my very first job as a young volunteer. Their new space at 100 Kellogg Lane reflects the London community through exhibits of the forest, community displays, agriculture, space, archaeology, a maker space to support the trades, water, gears and pulleys, and much more. It's designed by children for children. 
London MPPs were surprised to learn that provincial capital contributions to this project were minimal, while federal and municipal governments have stepped up with millions in support. We look forward to hosting Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport at Canada's oldest children's museum, a world-class facility where kids learn, grow and thrive with a second-to-none educational experience. I will even drive you there today. All the best to the great people at the Children's Museum for their ongoing work to help children build confidence, foster relationships and ignite curiosity. Thank you very much. The member for Scarborough Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to acknowledge Scarborough Health Network and its foundation for the efforts in serving one of Canada's most diverse community right here in my riding, the Scarborough Centre, for their early detection, prevention, and treatment of breast cancer through breast screening programs. Our government, through their ministry, the Ministry of Health, worked very hard to support these programs, and I thank them. As we celebrate October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I'd like to thank David Graham, President and CEO of Scarborough Health Network, and CEO uh, Lisa Vandermeer, President and CEO of Health Network Foundation, for the efforts to encourage women from all walks of life to put their health and well-being first by booking mammograms which has the potential to save lives. All three hospitals under its ne the network are equipped with state-of-the-art diagnostic imaging programs that are fully integrated with the hospital comprehensive cancer care services to provide care every step of the way from access of breast cancer screening for its early detection to prevention, assessment, diagnostic, treatment, for all breast abnormality. Again, I'd like to thank Scarborough Health Network for the services to the people of all of Scarborough and beyond. Thank you. Member statements. The member for Ottawa, Vanier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure for me to recognize the Vanier BIA for its incredible work linked to Vanier. Zach Vanier transformed a parking lot in a new hub and has won the International Downtown Achievement Award. It is a, a prestigious reward that answered, that considers the urban management and winners uh, are found everywhere in North America. This hub offers an accessible, an accessible place where people can learn, uh, create new relationships. It is organized with uh, in partnership with a community center in Vanier. We, uh, we have bonfires, we have movie nights and other events that celebrate diversity and inclusivity in our community. Popular Halloween party at the hub and I had a lot of fun disguised as Scarlet Witch distributing candies and exchanging with families. I even won the friendly costume competition with the other elected officials. Events like this help forge a strong, vibrant community. And on behalf of all the residents of Ottawa Vanier, I want to congratulate the Vanier BIA for winning the International Downtown Achievement Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Member statements. The member for Richmond Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to recognize the importance of Small Businesses Week, celebrated from October 15 to 21st. Even though that was last week, our small businesses should be remembered all the time as they play a crucial role in driving our local economy. I was once a small business entrepreneur. In York Region, more than 84% of our businesses are classified as small businesses, highlighting their contribution to the region's prosperity. They are the heart and soul of our community, fostering job growth. It is the backbone of businesses in Richmond Hill. I'm delighted to share the success of the fourth annual entrepreneurship finance conference hosted by the City of Richmond Hill Economic Development on October the 19th. This virtual conference 
provide that entrepreneurs with insights into capital and financial resources through interactive sessions and professional advice. Honorable Nina Tangri, Associate Minister of, Social, of Small Business, attended the conference. Thank you. Our government supports them and continues to cut red tape to save business time and cost. Let's continue to champion over the 400,000 small businesses in Ontario, ensuring that they support the resources that they need to grow and thrive. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for Whitby. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Durham College, in my writing, is helping small businesses and startups take the next steps to bring their products and services to market as a result of a $300,000 grant from Intellectual Property Ontario, ex expanding Durham College's capacity to foster innovation and entrepreneurial growth in Ontario. This new funding speaker will further expand the intellectual property advisory services from Durham College's Office of Research Services, Innovation and Entrepreneurship. The dean of that office says that with the support of Intellectual Property Ontario, they'll continue to serve as a hub for innovation, fostering economic growth and creating opportunities for our clients, students and faculty to succeed. Intellectual Property Ontario's $2 million pilot project speaker is part of the commercialization mandate policy framework, an initiative aimed at helping post-secondary institutions like Durham College advance their research and innovation efforts for the benefit of Ontario. More than 50 business clients are expected to take advantage of the tailored resources and mentorship to help them navigate the complexities of intellectual property and commercialization. And thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. That concludes our member statements for this morning.